Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to fix Bluetooth problems in Windows. Some typical signs of this problem include your Bluetooth icon not showing in the system tray or in the device manager. It could also be that you have your Bluetooth icons in place, but you cannot send or receive files or even connect to other Bluetooth devices. Here I'm assuming your laptop has some kind of Bluetooth module attached to it. Almost all laptops these days come with one. The more modern ones have it in combo with the wireless card, so the Bluetooth comes integrated to the Wi-Fi card. Others still have it as a separate module attached to the motherboard, and of course you can also buy a USB Bluetooth device from eBay or some local vendors for less than $5. In any case, here I'll be walking you through a number of steps you can take to troubleshoot these problems, and hopefully you will have your Bluetooth working properly again. So before you get into any settings or configurations, you first want to check that your Bluetooth has not been disabled by the wireless button or switch on your laptop. You can find this switch somewhere around your laptop with a wireless symbol on it. It could also be on one of your function keys, so check and ensure it's turned on. As easy as this may sound, there are times when you mistakenly flip this switch or press this button and spend hours trying to figure out why your Bluetooth isn't working. If you are not sure whether your laptop has any kind of Bluetooth device, you can simply check your system specifications online and see if Bluetooth is listed among the connectivity options. Next, you want to check that your Bluetooth is not turned off from the system settings. To do that, go to your start and click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. On this page, click on Devices. On the page that follows, you should have your Bluetooth and other devices listed. Here, if you have your Bluetooth turned off, simply click on the switch below to turn it on. Now, as soon as it comes on, you should have your Bluetooth icon appear in the system tray. And from here, you can right-click on it to reveal the different operations you can perform with your Bluetooth. If that doesn't work for you, then you want to manually add your Bluetooth device to the Device Manager. To do that, simply open your Device Manager. Click on the Action menu and select Add Legacy Hardware. You should have this Add Hardware Wizard pop up. Here, click on Next. On this page, select Install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Then hit Next. On the page that follows, search for Network Adapters and click on it. Then hit Next. Here, click on Microsoft. Then select Bluetooth device from the right pane and hit Next. Here, hit Next again and wait for your Bluetooth device to be installed. Now this could take a while, so you might have to wait a bit. After the installation, here click on finish, and then you should have your Bluetooth device listed under your network adapters. Here you can also choose to update to the latest available driver by simply right clicking and selecting update driver then search automatically for updated driver software. If you still can't see your Bluetooth, the next fix would be to check that your Bluetooth has not been disabled from the BIOS settings. To do that, you need to restart your computer. Then upon restarting, use the escape key or the required function key or combination of keys to boot into your BIOS depending on your system model. From the BIOS, try to find your I.O. port access. Here mine is under the security tab. Yours might be in the advanced tab and could have some other name like miscellaneous devices. Here you need to ensure that the status of your Bluetooth device is enabled. Otherwise, you can use the arrow keys and the enter key to set it to enable. 
If at this point you still don't see your Bluetooth, then you might need to manually download and install the Bluetooth driver that corresponds with your system specifications. For this ThinkPad, I will go to Google and search drivers for Lenovo ThinkPad T530 and open the link from pcsupport.lenovo. Here when you scroll down, you will find where it says Bluetooth and modem. Here click to expand the options. Then click again to show the drivers. Of course, this will differ depending on your laptop brand and how the support page is organized, but it should be pretty much similar to this. Here I have two downloadable files. The first is the actual driver software and the second is the readme file. Also, it shows that this driver is for Windows 10 32-bit or 64-bits. For some manufacturers like HP, you may need to select your operating system and platform, whether 32-bit or 64-bits. Here simply click on the download arrow to download. And after downloading, run by double clicking and then follow the instructions to complete the process. The next suggestion is to check that your Bluetooth has not been disabled from the task manager. To check that, go to your search and type task manager. Then select task manager from the search results. On the task manager page, click on services tab, then go down to this button pane and click on open services. On this services page, you can click on the name tab to arrange them alphabetically, then search for Bluetooth support services and double click to open the properties dialog box. On the general tab, you will see where it says startup type. And if you click on this box next to it, you should see a list of possible options for the startup type. Here you have automatic delayed start, automatic, manual, and disabled. Here you can set it to manual if you don't always need your Bluetooth to be on. That way you are able to save up on some energy. But also you will need to manually turn it on each time from the system settings. But then if you need it constantly turned on, especially if you are adding your laptop to a Bluetooth network, then you can set it to automatic so that it comes on each time during startup. Now remember to apply and hit OK after making any changes. And speaking of Bluetooth network, if you are having some problems connecting your laptop to a Bluetooth network and you have your Bluetooth icon showing in the system tray and device manager, then chances are that your Bluetooth network connection might have been disabled from the network connections. And to fix that, go to your system settings. Click on network and internet. Here click on Wi-Fi. Then on this right pane, click on change adapter options. Here you will see Bluetooth connections listed among the network connections. Now check that it's not disabled. Here as you can see, although my Bluetooth network connection is disabled, I still have the Bluetooth icon in the system tray and when I right click, I still get all the options. However, if I was trying to add this laptop to a Bluetooth network, say network of printers or scanners, then it won't be able to connect. So here I will right click and select enable to get it back on. Hope one of this was able to help you out. Leave us a post in the comments if you have any questions or feedbacks. Drop us a like if you found this video useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.